Hey everyone, it's Neil Barnhill from the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today I'm going to give you a glimpse of what the Barnhill method is. I'm going to give you several drills that you can use at the house on the driving range to help you with your hip and body movement. I'm going to go over specifically in this video how the hips and your body should work in the golf swing. So before watching, make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and enjoy. Okay, so let me tell you what I got here with the rod. So I got one for my foot alignment here. Uh, I've got one here. I've got this about a fist apart from, and my foot's near the rod, and my hand's about a fist apart from this one on the left. This one I got pretty close to my right hip, and I got this rod straight back, because I want to talk about that as far as like just moving the hands, like a practice mock swing without the club in, in your hands. But when you go back, most players go straight back. There's a few exceptions to the rule. Uh, Roy McIlroy, Dustin Johnson, they go a little bit outside with their hands, but the hands need to go straight back or just a little bit to the inside of this, which I got this rod set up here. The club path is gonna be, it's gonna be straight back or a little bit, I got the rod here. So just practice that movement there where you're just inside of this rod. You don't wanna be hitting it like that, okay? So now I'm going to take that out, and I've got this rod set back here. My hands go the same way, but then I want to be to the outside of that rod. Okay, so we want to make sure that when we start moving and turning our hips, the most common error we see as teaching professionals is people start thinking about pivot turning as the club goes way inside, and that's just not a good move. So we want to make sure that we got that path really good here. I got it to the outside of that rod, and then I want to make sure that at this point, this could be pointing at my belly, and then as I turn back more, you're going to see a little bit of room in between here at the top, where my hips actually go a little bit towards the target. My knee flexion, my left knee will get to be pointing at to the ball, and my right knee will slightly go in. Okay, now with the hips being here at the top, the transition, man, you'll see the hips with great players, it'll naturally go to the left and squat into it because of the position you're in at the top. So there, bam, and that's where this rod comes into play here, is that we want to feel that squat and feel that thigh, the rod here on the, down, on the transition. So we come down, and we get about halfway down, then we're going to start posting, and we're going to try to feel our belly hit the rod. And I tell you what, that's a good stretching exercise. It's just a good body feel to get into. So you can even do it without the club. Just go back, boom, come down, feel the shift, and then try to feel your right knee, your glutes pushing this way, and your belly hit the, hit the rod. Okay, it's a great drill. We did it the other night with our PGA Junior League. We got them up against the wall and had them actually get their belly to the, to the wall. And... Uh, and when, then we went out hitting, and we saw a big uh, improvement in how they were hitting and how they felt when they came through it. So it's a great drill. You don't need a ball to do this. Just get your body in these positions. Because now that when I do this, when I practice, I'll do these body movements for about five minutes. So now let's see if I can put it all together and hit some range balls and see if uh, I can feel what I've been practicing. So I like the station here when I'm practicing to work on my mechanics. I can see my takeaway. I'm feeling my takeaway go back. I'm also feeling my hip and my pelvic turn back with this ride. I can feel my right hip getting a little bit deeper back, my left leg moving a little bit more. And then coming down, I'm definitely starting more down with my lower body. And I'm not getting front, you know, forward flexion like I used to get in my swing. I'm definitely feeling the belly hit the, the wall or the rod here. So. It's really good practice for me, and I know it's uh, something a lot of good players work on. Okay, usually when I'm doing V1 lessons, I mean, it's always down the line or face on. But I tell you what, one thing is, from a teacher standpoint, mechanically, that can really help you is from behind. We're going to do one from behind where you see me swing. And the whole point is I got this rod here. It's going to be centered in my spine and uh, my hips. And you're going to see that when I, if I turn correctly, my lower body should go that way towards the target. So this is great to put the camera back here 
to check yourself out, you know, put the phone on the bag and just film yourself to see if your body's turning correctly. So let's, uh, let's check it out. Sneaky suspicion that I did do that correctly. Um, definitely made me aware of where I was at, again, rotating my hips and my pelvic turn. Tell you what, when you go out to the range to practice, you need to have a purpose and to have a hitting station like this to keep you in check. I couldn't recommend anything other than this is really something that's just awesome. Um, the pros do stuff like this with the swing plane, their feet alignment, your ball position. You know, this is what keeps you in check and helps you get better. You can't just go out and hit without a purpose. So try this out. Uh, definitely will help. Um, it's great. Um, and for more information, if you want to send me a video, I'd be glad to put it on V1 and give you a virtual lesson and give you some guidelines on how to do this. So check out barnhillgolf.com.